This video shows you how to iterate over a string um, to pull out pieces of it using the substring method. So the first thing I need to do is make myself a string and I'm going to let the user um, type in what the text is that the string has in it. So let me prompt the user to enter some text and then I'm going to make myself a variable called text and read in what they gave me. I'm going to let them be able to enter multiple words and read with next line. Um, what I'd like to do is take the text they've entered and play around with it. And I'm going to write that into a separate function just so you can get more comfortable with writing separate functions to do tasks. So this guy is going to start public static. It's just going to do some printing for me, so I don't need any information returned. So I'm going to make this void, and let's just call this fun with strings. And I'm going to pass to this function as a parameter the text from up here, which means that I need to list this guy and his type right here as a parameter. Okay, This name doesn't have to be the same, I'm just making it the same so you get this, the point that it's being passed from here to here. And then whatever I want to do with the string I can now do down in this function, um, but to make this execute I'm gonna have to call it. And to call a function you just say its name and list the parameter that I'd like to send to it. Okay, So this will now make the code that I write in this function execute. So here's what I want to do. I want to loop over a string. I'm going to make a little comment because I want to talk about strings as we go. And I'm going to say, okay, remember that the numbering of this guy is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the first letter is at index 0 and the last letter is at index 4. All right. So if I want to loop over this string one letter at a time and I want to um, print them out to a new line, then I would write myself a little for loop. So let's make a for loop and my loop control variable is going to start at the first index of the string, which would be 0. All right. And I would like this to go up to the last letter. So if I were going to write this and I knew that the word's going to be hello, then I could just say, okay, go while it's less than 5, because that would be um, able to then include my index number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, but I don't want this to just work with five letter words, I want this to work with any word. And if I look at this string here, then I know that the length of this string is one, two, three, four, five characters. So I would like to replace this with a call to text.length, which if the word is hello, this guy will get the five for me. And if it's some other word, it'll get that string's length for me. That way I don't have to worry about what string the user typed in. Okay. And if I would like to go from left to right in this string, then I want to start on this side and go on this side, which means I'm increasing by one each time. So let's go I++ right here. All right. Now inside here, I want to print out one letter at a time. So I know I'm going to need a print statement. And I want to put them each on a new line. So let me make this a print line. And then I have to figure out what to put inside here to grab out one letter at a time. Well, one thing I can do is to use the string method substring. And it's going to take two parameters. And you see it's trying to help me by telling me that the first one is the beginning index. So let's say I wanted to print the letter H. I would want to start at 0 and go up to but not include 1. If I wanted the E, I would start at 1 and go up to but not include 2. If I wanted the L, I would start at 2 but go, and go up to but not include 3. So there's like a pattern here. So I would put where I want to start and the next one is where I want to stop. So this is the pattern that will always get me one letter at a time. It's going to change with the I because the I is going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then it's going to just change this for me to be one higher because I always want one letter. So let's see if that works. Alright. Let's enter some text. Let's see. Fliberty Gibbet. I don't know how you spell that, but let's let's see if it works. Okay, so if I look at my output here, I've got Fliberty Gibbet each letter on a new line. So that is how you iterate over a string from left to right and isolate one character from the string at a time. 